Good morning, guys. This is, I'm just gonna do a quick introductory of this video because uh, basically I go see Tom Simcoe at his place and we do some ski flying. Quick introductory on Tom. Tom has been flying for like 47 years. He is one of the badass bush pilots that are out there. He lands on uh, 9,000 plus foot mountaintops uh, all the time, with either with skis on his plane or bush wheels. Awesome guy to know, and I'm fortunate enough to have him in my close flying group of friends, our community that we got, and uh, I've learned so much from him, um, and I thought it'd be really cool to do a video, and that's what this video is, of him doing ski flying. Another quick thing, his airstrip that he flies out of is like insane. It's, it's, it's short, it's on a mountaintop, there's no go around, so when you come in, that's it. You like, you don't mess up because you're in the in the mountain and um oh yeah and if you do try and go around there's a wind wind sock there that you're gonna hit your wing on so uh anyways that's where we're going that's what the video is about so enjoy this uh edit that i put together of tom and i uh messing around mostly tom i'm just in the back seat you drive for 15 20 minutes and you look Ooh. over you can see Mountain up <laughs> Ross Hork, and then you got to go all the way to Pope Tell. I mean, it drives me crazy. It's so true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I know. I can see your place from my place. I think I'm gonna take it out just because I, I don't want it in there, you know, for for sure. Yeah, right it's about 50 pounds right here, and just that little twist and a wiggle. There we go. Free electricity, so what the hell? <laughs> so today I'm gonna go snowboarding, but I'm not using a ski lift. I'm using Tom's Tom's airplane. But first we're gonna go uh we're gonna go do some ski flying. It's got good good mojo. It's never let me down yet. Whereas the straight skis, it can really beat your plane up, they say, because you don't have any give like you do when you still have a tire. And you can see how the forces are still going up through the tire and the gear, of course, in the, the usual way. So that's it. She's ready to go. I gotta say, that was pretty awesome seeing Tom rip around his place. I'm gonna jump in the back seat and we're gonna go uh, try to land on some mountaintops. Looks like we're uh, strapping a snowboard to Tom's plane. I might make some turns. This is gonna be good. We're on, okay.
there several times. And there, I left tracks. I didn't, I didn't shut it down or even come to a full stop. I just left some tracks on it. I'm just gonna make a few, uh, few runs, and uh, I might make some from, from the north coming south too. Straight up. Best thing about ski flying is how so many sites open up that normally aren't available, aren't even feasible. Uh, and then some that are maybe feasible during the summer, but super difficult and just in the right conditions are real easy in the winter. And then there's some, it flip flops around where some that are easy in the summer are, are impossible in the winter for various reasons, like no brakes and all that when you're on the skis. So. Uh, man, this is cool. This is so, so fun seeing, I gotta get some skis on my plane. <laughs> Feel the stick when I give it the gas there, it won't go right away. Yeah. Sure. Tom's in the plane. I'm on my snowboard. His house is there. I'm gonna snowboard to his place. He's gonna fly there. It's gonna be good. Yeah, we're both gonna be sliding on the snow for a little bit. So cool. All right, here comes Tom. Just like that, back at Tom's. Man, that was a fun day. Woo! What is ski flying to you? Better not flying all winter. That's the best thing about it. <laughs>
this area flooded three months out of the year, I'd get a float plane. Same thing. So this got done uh, filming some air-to-air -air shots with Tom and uh, now head back to my local airport. And on my way here, I saw this mountaintop that I was like, oh man, I might be able to land there with on my tires uh, because there's a bunch of snowmobile tracks on it. Um, so I'm gonna scope it out. I don't think I'm gonna land there because I don't got skis on, I have tires. <laughs> um, but I did touch my tires. for a second, and it, it felt pretty solid. <laughs> so we're gonna just check it out. I don't know if I'm gonna do it, but uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's go look at it. Hey, Jules. Hey. So um, it's, uh, the reason it's real consistent since I've been back here, just uh, going around the north. Not strong, but definitely northy. Take it off here, give me a time frame. I'm about ready to throw my chute out, so probably five minutes I'll be airborne. Five, five minutes. Okay, yeah, I'll be watching. Okay? Okay, see you soon. Sounds good. See you in a bit. Bye. Hey, Tom! Yeah, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>